What's going on guys? Hardware Junkies here and today we're bringing you a video on how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick. It also works on the Fire TVs, so either or you'll be able to get this done really quick, really easy, and it's really easy to use. So we're going to hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the settings tab on your Amazon Stick, go down to the devices tab, click on that, then you're going to go down to developer options and click on that. In here you want to turn on ADB debugging as well as apps from unknown sources. You're going to turn that on as well. Once you have those done, you can click the home button on your remote and go back to the home screen. Next you're going to want to go to the search tab in the top left corner. From here you can search for downloader. So just type that in and once you get a couple letters typed in, you'll see it'll pop up down in the suggestions at the bottom. So we're going to go down and click on where it says downloader. So once you click on that, it'll bring up the results. We're going to want the orange one that says downloader on it. So you can just click that and then click on download or install. I already have it installed, so once I click it, it's just going to launch the app. So once you do that, you can launch the app after it installs, and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. So from here, we can then go to this menu here. Hang on, I already have something typed into it. Let me get rid of that real quick. So you'll be seeing a screen like this with just the HTTP. So you're going to click into there, and you're going to type in bit.ly forward slash and then you're going to type in capital H and then the rest is lowercase d H D W and then a capital J and then a lowercase N K and then also add a capital T at the end of it. And then once you're done with that, you can click the play button on your remote to go. And that'll go ahead and download the app that we need to get. So it's going to go ahead and connect, and then it'll go ahead and download. Once it's finished downloading, you'll see a screen that looks just like this. So the app is now downloaded, and now we need to install it. So you need to accept the permissions by going down on your remote, go through all of those, and then you'll be highlighting cancel. You don't want to click cancel, you want to go to the right and click on install. So click on that and that's going to go ahead and install the app. The app we're going to be using to jailbreak our sticks is called Terrarium TV. It's probably one of the best apps out at the, this current time. Um, we used to use Kodi. Kodi's pretty much dying. Um, it's on the verge of death. A lot of the builds have been taken down. Um, the add-ons aren't being updated anymore. So this is a great, great alternative to Kodi. It's a lot easier to use than Kodi in my opinion, and you can do all the same stuff with it, um, getting your TVs and movies. So once that finishes installing, we'll be ready to go. And as you can see, it says app installed. So then you can go down and then go to the right and click on open. And then once we hop in, you can then update to the latest version. So it's really easy because my links don't have to change. You can just download the program and then update it. And the program will constantly push the updates right to you as soon as you launch the app. So it's really easy to update them. So you can just go ahead and click on update. Anytime that pops up, you can just update it really easy. Um, if you don't want to update it, you don't necessarily have to, but it's highly recommended to do so. Um, because it'll update all of the links in the app. So once it does the download, you can just click on install like usual, and that'll go ahead and install the update.
And then once it's done, you can go ahead and click open like we just did before. And now you have the fully updated version of the app installed. So that was super, super simple to install, and now we'll go over how to use it. So it'll pop up change log, you can click OK. Um, just accept the terms. And then now you're into the app. Um, it's going to default to the TV show setting. So uh, right from this screen, you'll see all of your TV shows, popular, um, these are all trending right now. If you go to the top, you can see where it says trending on the top left. There's a little down arrow next to that, and if you click that arrow, you can change uh, what you're sorting your movies by. So there's a huge list of things here that you can pick from. Uh, you can also go to the right of that in the top right corner. You can see I have it highlighted in blue. You can do a search and you can search for whatever you want. So that's pretty neat. Another thing you could do is if you pick a show that you like, um, you're trying to binge watch it. So say we wanted to click on Gotham here. You can go up to the top right here and you can get the IMDB information as well as you can favorite the app or the show. So if we favorite that one right now, we can then go back and then if we go over to the hamburger menu in the top left corner, we have a bunch more options and we have favorites down here. So if you click that, you can then get to Gotham really easily. So if you also, we can switch over to movies by clicking on the hamburger menu and then going to movies. And it works the same as the TV shows with the sorting and it'll just show them all here. So to play a movie, all you'd have to do is pick the one you want to watch. So click on it. Uh, we're going to hit OK. It tells you exactly how to watch it. Really easy to use. Watch now is the top thing in uh, the top right corner. So you just go all the way over to the right, go up, and then click on play. And then that'll go ahead. It'll search for all the links. And then it's going to go ahead and do that. We want to click on the video player real quick and make sure we have Yes Player selected. Now when you go to watch a movie, um, there's different sources that you can pick from. Uh, as you can see in the brackets it says Google Video. That's one of the best ones in my opinion right now. Um, CDN Fast Server seems to be working pretty well also. Uh, we're just going to pick this one with Google Video real quick. And then you're going to go ahead and click on Play. And then once you do that, you just have to install your video player as well so that it can play the movie. So you can go ahead and click on install. It's going to go ahead and download that. Then again, just go down, click on install. Once that finishes, you can then go ahead and click on open. Uh, actually, I don't think, no, we don't want to hit open, sorry. So just go back. There we go. Again, if you hit play, it will find the sources. Then you can pick the source that you want to use. It's still scanning, it didn't too many yet. Um, but then once you have the Yes Player installed, you can play any of these through that. Um, so if we click on Google Video and then just click on Play, it'll go ahead and it'll start the video and it'll load and then it should play your movie pretty quickly. Just like that. So we're going to go back. That's pretty much everything you need to know for the movie aspect of it. Oh, I think we got hung up on an ad here. There we go. So you can keep going back and I'll show you how to use the TV shows on it real quick. So if you want to do that, um, obviously you need to be in the TV shows tab. 
and in here you would pick the show that you want. So let's say we wanted to watch Arrow, and you would go down and click on Season. Pick whatever season you want to watch, so let's say we wanted to watch Season 5. And then once you're in here, you can just click on OK, that won't pop up again. And then as you can see, um, all along the top you'll have all of your episodes, so 5x1 would be Season 5, Episode 1, Season 5, Episode 2. Just pick whatever one you want to watch. Um, after you watch an episode, it'll change color on the um, top box here. So you'll know that you have already watched it and you'll know where you left off, which is a really great feature. Um, so again, you just pick whatever episode you want to watch, go all the way over to the right, and then go up and click on play, and it'll find all the sources, just like the movies, so that you can watch those ones. Um, if you notice in the bottom, you might get when you click on play, it'll say to verify a uh, captcha. Um, that's just if you need certain sources, they require you to verify that you're a human, not a robot. So you could do that if you're not getting good sources, sometimes those are better than the other ones. Um, you don't have to do it, you can just use the default ones. And as you can see, it's just bringing up all our links, so you just pick the one. If, it, if the first one doesn't work, pick another one until you find one that's working out great. So that's about everything that we have for you on this. Um, if you have any questions, you can send a comment down in the description. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe down below. That's all I have for you guys today, and we'll see you next time.